Hi, good afternoon. Today I'm going to show you an overview of some of the configuration possibilities with the Diagnostic Manager dashboards. These are the dashboards that are displayed when you click open on a server within Diagnostic Manager. To customize the dashboards, click on the Customize button in the ribbon bar here. This will open up the dashboard development area with the current dashboard preloaded. You can work with this dashboard, making the required changes and either save it with the existing name, uh, overwriting it, or with a new name, thus creating a new dashboard. You can have as many dashboards as you wish, and you can select different dashboards to either customize or to work with and allocate to the current instance just by clicking on the Select Dashboard ribbon button here. When designing a dashboard, you can select from a variety of different layouts, perhaps based on the target display device, the target users, or maybe to allow a focused data display. In my current dashboard, I've selected a two column by four row layout, but as you can see, there are a variety of layouts available. So a dashboard is an agglomeration of panels, where a panel is a collection of metrics relating to a given topic. So for example, CPU or memory, etc. In this dashboard, it is organized with the OS metrics on the left-hand side and the SQL metrics on the right. But I can easily change this design just by clicking and dragging panels around as I wish. So, for example, whilst in the designer, I have this list of available panels on the right-hand side. And I can drag and drop panels from there to where I want them to place them as well. And as you see, you can have duplicate panels if you so wish. If I drag and drop existing panels, they will just swap locations. If I drag a new panel from the right-hand side onto the canvas, if there's a panel already there, it will just be replaced. Once I'm happy with the design, I can click on Save. And I'll be asked for the dashboard name. And if I choose an existing name, I'll be asked if I wish to overwrite it. And I can also allocate this dashboard to the appropriate servers. Note, if I've made some changes, but I don't click to save it here, those changes will just be applied to the dashboard for this session. They will not be kept long term. So some other features you might find useful. You can use these two controls up here to maximize the amount of screen space by collapsing the sidebar under the ribbon. This is very useful if you are displaying the dashboard, for example, on a kiosk style console. You can adjust the time range displayed in the charts. Currently I'm displaying an hour's worth of data. This is adjusted via using the history browser and then the set history range. Currently, as I said, I'm displaying an hour, but I can go everything from 15 minutes right the way up to four weeks. And if I choose custom, I can then select from here a particular time range that I wish to display if I'm working with it. I could also use the click and drag option down here to wireframe an area uh, as another way of selecting a custom range to look forward. The last thing to mention is that, as you may have noticed on the right hand side of these charts, we're displaying data collected at a higher frequency. This is real-time data and it's not stored for long-term use, but is very useful to help with real-time resolutions of issues. The frequency and time period for this is controlled up here in the Tools console options, where you can set the frequency that the data is collected and also how long the data is displayed for. Okay, thank you very much indeed and hopefully you found that useful.